I went to the Middle Level Association Conference and I read a session description of the Samantha Smith Challenge. And I was so excited because I had been batting this idea around in my brain for a few years about how to teach history. I also sort of hate how like we teach history by teaching the wars. I had this idea of teaching history through change and progress and had already sort of started to think about one way to do that would be to focus on different aspects of culture, namely like the arts and poetry and narrative writing, music, dance, and to see how the, the changes in those cultural aspects sort of helped us go move towards progress and change in a more like political realm. And then read the description of the Samantha Smith challenge and what it entailed. And I thought to myself, whoa, those two could be pretty closely linked. And then I could tie in this other standard that I had that was about students choosing a current issue, doing some research on that current issue and taking a stand on it. Robert's work with the portrait painting and all of these, you know, historical change makers and modern change makers, it was just so serendipitous to to run into this and talk to Rob and Connie about what the program entailed and what it could provide. We can connect you with all of these awesome change makers and, you know, maybe we could have your students talk to them and all this really, really, really wonderful stuff. So I was like, yes, this is, this is perfect. This is an amazing way to be able to teach all of this 